that YouTube. Oh, pardon my camera ring. I'm gonna make this, turn this channel into a slight vlog for a bit. So, I'm gonna try to record more face-to-face -face like a lot of people do. I might be able to get more content out to you guys um, instead of the usual time lapses that are always super delayed and everyone always complains about them. Uh, so I'm gonna listen to what you guys say. I'm gonna try this out. Uh, let's start out by removing this. Hope if I got the correct size. It's probably five sixteenths. That's if I'm able to get this in here. Oh, this might be broken. You know, this thing lasted a while, though. I can't really be angry about it. So this was a self-tapper over here. Um, what we're probably going to do, just because I don't want a random hole there, is pull this carpet back. First of all, it's going to be a little bit of a pain. I just definitely do not want that just randomly mounted there. Um, that's the kind of stuff that kind of hurts me a little bit. Everything has to be pretty perfect. So um, let's get that done. Before we do that, can I put this to go and stretch just a little further? Probably not. So I'm just gonna go like this, and wait, we don't hurt any of the wires. I think. Hold on, YouTube. All right, YouTube. So that screw is in now. Uh, it's not going anywhere. I even sealed it off just to be on the safe side. Uh, it's nothing anyone will ever see either. But it's just the little things that I really pay attention to. Because if you leave a hole there, even if it's garaged, um, moisture can get in, slowly rot it out. So what I'm thinking is, instead of where it was mounted, I'm going to try to make room in here to mount it and i'm probably gonna mount it right to the fan box up here um i think that would be a great area for it personally um bum -bum. that was a lot of interesting relays that they did at this car back in the 80s uh, 90s interesting connections and stuff so yeah i think back there would be the best oh, that's just getting it up there that's the gonna be the fun part to do i wonder if I'm, yeah i wonder if i would have to drop the whole uh fan box down to actually do this hmm because technically it should have been mounted there from the beginning Hmm. I don't know, YouTube. I'm also kind of tired, so I think I'm going to call it here. Didn't really get anything done today. Just starting to clean out the car. Um, we're kind of going from there and on. Just really giving it a good overview. 
seeing of seeing what I'm gonna have to replace so like even down to the speakers we can take a look see if she still has her original speakers I know a lot of people just replace typically the front speakers I can tell you for one thing uh, the very very front speakers are not replaced those are definitely original but let's see if anybody ever replaced these speakers definitely a little bit of corrosion in there so I guess the whole thing comes out as one door panel that's another thing we're gonna have to fix is the uh, the door locks aren't working so it's either the button or probably the button This looks like something that comes out. Uh, looks like it's not going to be as easy as I was hoping. Let's see if I can at least peek in and kind of feel. Um, I don't feel any speakers. Which means it's probably the Ford plastic stock speakers, I bet you. That's your, oh yeah, yep. yeah. Those are all original. So stay tuned, YouTube. Um, I'm gonna keep this up though. I think I need to get more social interactions too when I'm outside of work. So if YouTube's a my starting point. I guess I'll start back up with YouTube again. Stay tuned, YouTube Diesel Dan Peter signing out for now. Hey YouTube Diesel Dan Peters here. Just gonna put the GoPro battery on the charger. So today I am unfortunately back to waiting on parts. Um, so I figured this is probably a good time to do something specifically in the trunk. this will hold and not slam me in the head pretty sure that these shocks are a little bit shot <laughs> that's definitely something I'll be looking into it's also really cold now the cold affects these pretty hard um, so in the trunk here see I'm trying to hold hold the trunk up with my head right now <laughs> uh, we got a mess so I figured let's Let's put those seats down. Might have to put the heater on in here to have these hold up. I guess that's gonna be on my list. Some new, uh, some new shocks. So obviously, these are not holding. Oh, they're holding for a second. Only for a second. <laughs> Wonder if I can do some that may just work. Either that or it's gonna hit me right in the head. So I guess we'll find out. Either way, I'm gonna put both seats down. Um and we're gonna go to town cleaning this out. And I got stuff like this. I got the speaker bezel and all this I plan on reusing because I don't wanna go super crazy restoring this interior I want to I want to show a little bit of wear um, so obviously it's like a almost a 30 year old car at this point so I'm not expecting it to look absolutely perfect I just want it to look decent so I figured we clean this all out let's get everything out of the uh, spare trunk area we'll vacuum all that out put the spare tire back the way it's supposed to be go from there because honestly like I said I'm waiting on parts I got the wrong part last night um, so that's more of the color of the interior it's like a uh, I guess this is a smoked gray because this is supposedly a titanium gray this looks brown to me uh, so I don't know I don't know YouTube uh, and I gotta round up a bunch of parts that I gotta return as well um, yeah Let's get to it, I guess. I guess we're vacuuming now. Let's be vacuum masters or something like that. I don't, 
don't know. Let's see. So stay tuned, YouTube. Let's get this going. YouTube. Hey YouTube Diesel Dan Peters here. So when I got my face mask on, or not face mask, my ski mask, get really bad stiff neck like right over here, even with the slightest bit of cold. So got to watch myself. Um, we finally got the new mounts in um, and we got these stainless steel. All right, YouTube. I don't know if I, that last clip saved or not, but Basically, I got all the mounts in. Um, so this is stainless steel, which is going to work out perfect. So this is where the uh, ter Terminator X is mounted. And I think she's going to fit pretty well once I uh, zap her down into here. So I guess without further ado, we got to clean out this area. Wow, this is all apart still. Make sure I don't have stuff like a, like a random wrench in the way. <laughs> Oh God, uh, and then I just gotta cut out the holes for those, let's see, should be right about there. I guess we'll find out, hopefully I got the correct one. It should be the correct one though, I don't think I messed up and got the wrong one, hopefully. Uh, yep, we got that hole ready to go. That's actually something I should do too. I should put that seat belt in. So I'm gonna find that. We're gonna get the vacuum out, vacuum out that area. And I guess the passenger seat's gonna be the first one to be installed. Um, I might time, li time lapse this, I might not. I might just show after once it's done because I'm sure people are done with the time lapses at this point. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get her done. I already found the seat belt question is can I find the bolt that holds it in I'm sure it's in one of these bags oh I think I already found it uh, oh 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 yeah there we go nice this looks like the bolt all right YouTube let's get busy stay tuned YouTube, take a look at these stainless steel NRG 
racing seat holders. Hell yeah. Yeah, YouTube, I figured I'd set up the camera fast. That way you all can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, some of this is probably going to skip around a little. Just mounting seat brackets. The correct ones, for that matter. down nice and snug nice All right. and I'll just snug these down Nice. I'm kind of interested to see how this thing actually fits in there now. Um, this is where the fun part comes because I got to find a way to get some light in that car and try not to kill the battery at the same time. Stay tuned, YouTube. Let's see what I can get done now.